Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing Series 2 of RU Garden. I was a huge fan of Series 1 of RU Garden, so I was really excited for Series 2. However, I wasn't as big as a fan of Series 2 because half the figures were humanoids, where the first series was all animal figures, and I absolutely loved it. So I waited until they went up on Toy Donut, which is a store in Toronto where you can actually buy open boxes of blind boxes so you can buy the particular figure that you want in a series. I went ahead and grabbed all of the ones that I was excited for. So I have four boxes in front of us today that we're gonna go ahead and open. They're all sealed so even though I know what figure I'm getting I'm gonna leave it as a surprise so that you'll be able to see me unbox them and having a look at all of the ones that were available this one was my favorite humanoid one I unboxed this in a video last week I believe and I didn't get a repeat I was so excited all right so let's go ahead and open up the first one I'm so excited to finally see these in person. These figures have so much details and are so incredibly cute. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, and I didn't already mention, but RU Garden is all Egyptian God theme. So this is going to be a really cool series. One, two, three. Ah, oh, look at this cute one. Oh, this one is incredible. So this is the one that is on the cover and it is so cool. Let's go ahead and have a look at the card. So this is this super cute card for the god Hathor. Series one had a lot of the more well-known Egyptian gods and series two has more of ones that I'm not super familiar with. And every box comes with this little stick of metal. I'm not sure why. Series 1 was the same way. And let's have a closer look up at Hathor. Oh my god, Hathor looks so cool. Hopefully I'm saying the Egyptian god names properly. I absolutely love the giant bull horns on it. And we have the beautiful snake on the front. Series 2 is just like Series 1 and has such beautiful gold details. I absolutely love all of the details for this figure. The metallic gold paint is so well done and the painting in general is immaculate. I really like the purple hair detail and the ears look so cute with that ombre as well as the ombre on the horns. I think the coloring is so perfect too for the bull. I love this beautiful tan figure and the eyes are incredible. This is just such a well done figure. I really love the quality of RU Garden. I think that is definitely one of my favorites of the series. It is just so beautiful. I'm in love with all of the coloring. So let's see who we're going to get now that we've opened up Kathor. And let's see for this one. All right, one, two, three. Oh, cute. And we got the other cow one, but this is a black one. And here is the beautiful card for a piece. Series 1, I wasn't a fan of the card. I'm so glad they've changed it to this drawn style. Before it was like a photograph of the figure. I definitely prefer this style. And this figure is just as beautiful as the first one. We have these incredibly large horns that look amazing. We also have a mini Osiris, I believe. It's kind of like a mini Osiris god doll in the palm. I probably need to brush up on my Egyptian lore, but I'm not sure why these two are tied together. But I do think it's really cute that it's holding one in its hand. If you have a look at the other figure that I got, it also has a mini version of a god in its hands as well. And I love the black and the gold details. The gold sticks out so much, especially with the green hair detail. I think the green is such a perfect color. It is just so beautiful. For series one, definitely all of the black figures were my favorite because of how beautiful the gold looked on them. And I think this one looks just as cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab the third one in the line. 
and have a look to see which figure I have here. I haven't even mentioned the beautiful packaging either. I've just been opening them up because I've been so excited to see them, but it has hieroglyphs everywhere on it. And it's really, really cool. I am a huge fan. I love how they do this on the outside packaging. It's really fun. Even if you do end up throwing these away, I think it's really cool. All right, let's see who I got for this one. One, two, three. And it is the beautiful Thoth or Hoth. I'm not 100% sure how to say this name either. I probably should have looked up pronunciation and tried to practice a bit before the video. But this one is so cute. I think this one is my favorite, perhaps, of the whole series. And here is the card for Thought. I love these cards. I just think they're so cool. I wish I could read the back because I'm sure it has a lot of cool information about the Egyptian god or maybe a little story about it. Now I know for this one it's supposed to be the monkey god but for some reason it reminds me of a seahorse with like a pearl on its head. I don't know why. Every time I look at this one I think it looks like it's for under the water, under the sea but it's this really beautiful monkey and I just love this one. And again, just all of the gold details and everything about it looks so cool. I think it's really funny on the bottom how we have that red detail as well. And I just love the style of the animals. Compared to the humanoid ones, I don't think it's as well done. All of the Egyptian gods have an animal form, so I'm not sure why they decided to make some of them humans for series 2. I know a lot of people have had that same feedback, so hopefully for series three we end up getting all animal gods and that brings me to our fourth one now there is one more kind of i couldn't decide whether it was a humanoid god or if it was an animal god that would be osiris and i didn't know if i was going to get it or not i did like the look of it but for some reason i kind of thought it was a humanoid one but I went ahead and I picked up a fourth box and I'm really excited to show you this one. This one is already open, so this one is not a surprise, at least in terms of opening up the packaging, but go ahead and I will show you who I got as the fourth one. One, two, three. Look at this one. So this is not Osiris. This is actually a special color variant. So I got the color variant of the first one we got. So this one right here, this is the color variant for Hithor. And let's go ahead and have a look at the card. So this card is the same as the others and I really love it. And the name for this one is actually the beautiful goddess Hathor. And look at how beautiful it is. I just love the coloring for this one. We have a more elaborate headpiece on this one, and we have this little kind of sculpture that it's holding between its front hooves, and it just looks incredible. This special colorway is amazing and it has extra gold detail in the horns but my favorite thing is this is a white cow with spots and the spots of the cow are in gold. It looks so so incredible. The back of it is my favorite thing. I just love the gold spots. I think it looks so so cool. I'm absolutely in love with this one. I was so excited that I had a chance to get this one. This one did show available when I went to the site. I actually was so excited to get these. And RU Garden always has three different color variations. So RU Garden, when you buy a full case, you can get two color variants of existing characters. Then there's a hidden edition. And then there's a color variant of the hidden edition. Toy Donut did have both color variants and the other one is this amazingly cool gold casket. I wish I had gotten that one. I think that would have looked incredible in my collection, but I'm just so happy I got one of them. In this case for the RU Garden, the color variant was about $10 more, which I don't mind, 
paying $10 extra for a color variant. I think that's pretty reasonable. I don't know, what do you think? Would you pay extra for a color variant or not? And I think they both look so unique. I don't even think you can really tell it's a color variant of the other one. They look pretty similar, but they are so unique. I think they look amazing together. And I didn't buy Osiris. I know Osiris is supposed to be a snake and it's not a humanoid, but when these arrived and I got them and I had a bit more in my budget, I did put in an order for Osiris. I'm not going to get it in time for this video, but I will put up photos on my Instagram if you want to check out Osiris. But Osiris was the last non-humanoid one from this series, so I pretty much have the full series of Are You Garden Series 2, except for two of the human figures that I wasn't excited for. I'm so glad on the one blind box I had that I did end up getting a non-repeat. So that was really exciting for me. I just love the mini cat. I'm not as in love with it, but it does have wings, so that's pretty cool. But the mini cat god is adorable. And out of all of these five, what is your favorite? Let me know down below. Are you in love with the color variant like me? I still think this one Besides the color variant, obviously the color variant is my favorite. I don't know, I think this is my favorite. Maybe this is my second favorite. I love them all though. Are You Garden is so awesome. And even though these weren't blind boxes and I already knew what was inside, I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed seeing almost the whole collection of Are You Garden. Maybe I should have just bought in the full case and sold the two humanoid ones that I wasn't interested in, but I don't know, I really preferred doing it this way. And who knows, I might not have gotten the color variant that I got buying from Toy Donut. And let me know your thoughts about Are You Garden? Do you collect it? Do you like it? Or is the Egyptian god theme not your thing? I always love hearing your opinions and thoughts on my unboxing videos. It's so nice to hear what you think. And I hope you have a great night and you enjoyed this video. I will see you on the next one.